Hello, hello. Back here in the park. Uh, it's a couple of days that I came to train because, like, you know, it's July finally. Uh, the pandemic is slowing down and uh, the weather is so much nicer. It's still windy, so you can hear, you will hear noise. You can hear probably beer cans rolling on the on the floor. If you're a park drinker, if you like to drink in the park, make sure you use the bins. After you finish, you, you're more than welcome to drink uh, beer or whatever drinks you like in the park, but make sure to be respectful for people that use the park after you. So if you don't know me, I'm Andrea Croce. Uh, I'm a coach. I start saying I'm a mindset coach. Then I went to say I'm a performance coach. Let's say I'm just a coach. Yeah, uh, coaching is being with you in this moment and uh, is sharing a space with you, sharing this moment with you. So I'm sure that if you read the title, you see that I'm going to go deeper into the how to get results for yourself if you don't want to hire a coach. So uh, if you think that saving uh, the money is, is going to give you more results. I tell you right now, you you mistaken. I'm sorry. I have to I have to say that if you think that saving is a way to get results, th that's wrong. I was I was like you, and uh, I had to admit I I didn't want to admit it that, but I'm I'm afraid that that's the reality of things. The only way to get results is investing. Invest in time, invest in resources, invest in uh, the effort to do something that you know is going to give you results. Working for yourself is going to give you some results, but not as, as uh, life-changing as you think. I love to see the kid behind me walking. I miss so much playing the playground. Anyway up to eight weeks ago i wouldn't be able to record with someone in the in the back room on the screen but you know i coach myself to do this and uh, i'm really proud of myself i'm not bragging i'm just like you know you can coach yourself but that is not going to be enough because i have two coaches no one i have two coaches one is accountability coach so this accountability coach as the job to piss me off literally she doesn't but that's supposed to be a job she needs to keep me accountable she needs to uh, this person is the one that i need to send the video and i send the text that i write that is meant to be the the script for the video so that's accountability coach i need to ensure i don't waste their time because she charged me so if i don't want to get charged too much I need to respect the timelines or deadlines or you want to call it. If I tell her that I send her something on Friday, I need to send it on Friday because she's going to text me on Friday night. So look, I haven't received what you, you say you send me. What are you waiting for? So she doesn't really care if I send it or not, but she's keeping me accountable because I need to send that to make sure that I take action. I'm going to talk about taking action later in the video and uh, I have another coach which is uh, empowerment coach empowerment coach uh, in my case is helping me through my uh, energy blocks so I'm not a religious person I'm a spiritual person and I see energy all around me I'm made out of this energy the phone the table the floor the trees the grass the park is made of energy, so I'm part of this big universe and some parts of my energy is stuck. And uh, this coach, the second coach, which charge way more than, than the first one, uh, is actually leading me in a self-healing process. What's a self-healing process? A self-healing process, you can might say that, you know, you're doing it on yourself. You actually do because you need to heal yourself 
But you need a coach to do that because you don't know how to heal yourself. So it's best to have a coach if you want to heal your inner conflicts, if you want to heal your self-limiting beliefs, because you inside them, you inside that block, you inside that limiting belief, you inside that inner conflict. So you can't be objective. You live in that subjectively. I've I'll, I'll link the video about uh, interpretation uh, above. Having someone outside the bubble can give you an objective interpretation of what's going on to you. You can't really say what's going on to you because it's happening to you. It's not that someone has been murdered. The person has been murdered, but not, not always knows that has been murdered. I know that I, try, I sometimes use very direct and uh, cruel example, but if I'm, if I'm a, it's like politician in America. So let's talk about a like, politician in America. They need a, a, a bodyguards because they don't know when they're going to be shot from a sniper. And uh, they can't prevent it because they're going to be unaware. They inside the problem. They, they have this problem that they're going to be shot by the subconscious mind. Let's talk about like the subconscious mind is the, sni the, sn the sniper that knows your weakness, knows all your, all your strength and weakness because it's you. So that this sniper that exactly knows how to tell you to procrastinate. So you want to do something, there's the sniper there, the subconscious mind is going to tell you, Pam, you can't do that because you're going to fail, because you, you suck, because you're not worth it, because you can't do, you, you're not able to do that, you weren't able to do that last time, why are you going to be able to do that this time? That, that's the subconscious sniper, let's call it, yeah? So a coach is the bodyguard that you're going to say, that, ah! I can't do that. I'm not worth it now. And the, body, and, the, and the coach is going to tell you, you know, Andrea, you know, you are worth it. You can do it. Just doing it. Just do this, do that. What could you do if there was not sniper? What could you do? It's just asking you powerful question to make sure that the sniper gets blanks. Instead of bullets, you get blanks bullets. So they, they cannot hurt you. They are painful because they're painful, even blanks are painful, but they're not uh, life-threatening. When you go about without a coach, your limiting beliefs are life-threatening because they can stop you from being happy, and if you're not happy, it's not, it's not worth living. Because if you're not happy, it's not worth living. So the let, let's get to the point about uh why uh why the, the three things you need if you don't want a coach yeah you need awareness you can watch the video about awareness awareness is when you realize something's going on you realize that you see the sniper you see that you know i see you i see you 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 pointing at me i see the red spots that you aiming to shot me with, with these self-doubting beliefs, uh, with these conflicts that, that are just there as a safeguard. And I think I made a video about uh, worst case scenarios. And uh, the sniper try to shot you with the worst case scenario to stop you, do what you want to do. But you become aware of that. So once you become aware, you're still there. So you have, you're aware that the, the red point is in your heart. So then you need journaling. There's the second part. I'm not sure. I think I need to make a better video about journaling. Journaling is, I wrote it here. You search within yourself what is and how to fix what is the problem? How to fix the problem? Let, let me repeat that. Journaling is how you can find 
how to fix the problem and how you can fix the problem. So I had my, I become aware that I want to make videos for YouTube. Uh, I, I have to do that in the park because I couldn't do it at home. Uh, but I couldn't make it at home. Why? Because my uh, conscious, uh, subconscious sniper, subconscious mind or sniper, was shooting me. It's like, bam, you're not good enough to, to record in the park. Bam, someone is looking at you, is laughing at you because recording in the park. Uh, bang, uh, they they laughing at you while you're talking to the camera. And, and that was hurting. That really was painful. Yeah, journaling was amazing because I had the solution in my mind, you know, start going to the park when there's nobody. So you, you get acquainted to the park. Uh, relax, just when someone pass by, maybe, you know, take a break, realize what they're doing. Are they literally looking at you? Is these people looking at you? No, they don't give a shit. They don't care. They just in the park. They have the right to be in the park. So you, that's the worst case scenario that the, the, the subconscious mind was feeding me. And uh, journaling helped me to put this worst case scenario on paper and disprove them. I uh, people are judging me. No, they just in the park. Uh, people are laughing at me. No, they basically not because they just walking in the park. Uh, people making fun of me, like, like making fun. I mean, like pointing at me, laughing at me, and they were not. They were just walking in the park. So. I'm able today to do this video, and you're seeing this video because I met, I did the journaling, I cleared up those bullets, those limiting beliefs, the worst case scenario. I, I, I put them on paper. I have, actually I have it here. I put it on paper, and uh, I make sure that they were not affecting me. And. Uh, the last thing is actions. So action is what I'm doing. I'm recording the video. So when you journaling, you write down the limiting belief, the worst case scenario, the limiting the doubts you have. I'm not going to make it because of this. You disprove it and then you put the solution to that worst case scenario. So I'm going to go to the park at this time. I'm going to go to the park. Uh, dress this way. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean the table where I put the phone. So anything that can help you to actually take the action. The sun is blinding me. So anything that can help you take the action is gonna make you feel awesome. Because right now I'm feeling awesome that I'm making this video literally. Uh, it really sounds I'm, I'm bragging about. But it really feels very good, especially after workout. So those are the three things you need to start making progress in your life without a coach. That's going to be, there's not going to be enough, but you need to start. As uh, Robin Sharma says, or someone else says, I, I follow lots of Robin Sharma. Uh, I'm going to put this um, profile up there because you, you should you should watch his video and make sure you follow mine too and uh, he says or someone says if you do one percent every day in 60 days you will have achieved 60 percent of your goal so if you find out that you want to lose five kilograms for example I'm really not good at lo 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 weight loss example, but let, let, let's give it a try. Let's say you want to lose five kilograms. No, two kilograms. Yeah, it, it might seem very little, but it, let's start with something small. Bloody sun. And uh, you want to lose some weight. Let's say two kilograms. And you give yourself two months. For some people, two months are more than enough, even to lose two kilograms. Some people can even lose more, about five kilograms in two months, but some others might not. What's the difference in between these two people? Is the effort that you put, the action that you take, 
daily. So if you daily start counting your macros, your protein, uh, carbohydrates and fats, if every day you do five minutes exercise, literally five minutes, exercise every day, seven days a week, seven days, uh, yeah, seven days a week, uh, four weeks a month, in two months you will have you I'm sure you're gonna lose that weight if you count your macros if you make sure that your macros stick to uh, a deficit in calories you're gonna lose weight I got I can't guarantee you that I will I do guarantee you that unless you have some health condition that prevent you from losing weight if you're healthy and if you do that what I just said you're gonna lose weight but there's some people that they don't do that they overeat they do cheat meals they don't train and they expect to lose weight that, that you might aware that you want to lose weight uh, but you're not journaled you haven't put down was the worst case scenario that which you start a diet then you fail the diet because you uh, doing eating treats you eating sugars uh, you skipping meals at you know, night maybe you skipping breakfast uh, so all these case scenario you should write it down if you want to just give you an example most people want to lose weight start with this you don't need a personal trainer you, you want a personal trainer but you don't need it you want a personal trainer and uh, you need to become aware of what is stopping you from losing weight you need to journal about how you're gonna change that and you need to take action so I really hope this video is going to is helpful to you. I really hope you you're going to use the information to get to transform your life, and uh, I really hope that you're going to love you love this video and uh, you love it so much that you want to share it in the next hour with uh, let's say two people, your closest friends or your your friends and family, to make sure they can uh, hear it then feel free to uh, go in the description below where there are all the links my battery is dying so i need to close the, the video here check all the uh, link in the description below my name is andrea croci and thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you next